What's good dudes and dudettes, Mr. Bisto here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the dreaded Convocation of Decay, covering book locations, triggers, item spawns, and event mechanics. I know there is a lot of hate in the community for the last event on this map, but don't worry, at the end of the video, I'll give you some simple tips to make it nice and easy. But for now, the first home. Keep heading straight as you enter the first open room with the beds in it, and it's the last bed on the right under the pillow. From here turn right and continue to the end where the stairs take you down. On the right there is one door that you can open. In this room you will find items on the table as well as underneath the table. From here head back along the corridor and take the stairs down. As you come to the bottom straight ahead is a ravaged art spawn. From this line forward there will be triggers. Heading to the right you can get spawns on both the bookcase and on the table. Proceeding down the corridor if you take a right, you'll see a door, through the door, there are three spawns inside, you can get some items on the bookcase, some items on the table in front of you, and just to the left, in the basket, you can get Ravaged Art. Leaving the room, continuing straight along the corridor, on our left there is another room. In here there are three spawns, one on the bookcase, one on the floor, and one on the table. Back out through the door, another staircase on our right taking us down. At the end here, check the room on the right. Turn left, go along the corridor, and there's another door on your left. Turning right, go through the narrow passageway. Check the adjacent corner for Ravaged Art. Proceeding through the tunnel system, check the broken bars on your left. On your left under the wooden beam is a really common place for items. On the platform ahead of you and through the hole in the wall below you to your right. There's a chest near the pillar ahead and also items near the bars on the right. Near the broken pillar and also under the lamp on the right. Proceed to the end of the sewers as you go through the metal bars on the stairs to your left. Head down the stairs to your right and through the door there are three spawns in this room. Go up the ladder at the end you'll notice the symbols on the door and the button match. There are no triggers in the next section. Ride the lift down. For the first grim, look at the symbol on the first door then you want to hit one of the wrong buttons below. Our symbol was a triangle so I'm going to hit the circle here and the door will open. Watch the passage on the left for enemies. Carry on down the passageway and go into the room on your right. Check the bookcase on the right for items, then do a little parkour until you get to the hidden button. That will allow you to continue on the passageway until you get to the hole in the wall on the left and the grim's just in there. To unlock the doors, just match the symbols on the doors to the buttons below. Proceed for the open doors, triggers are back from now until the end of the map. There are two spots on the right for items to spawn, and also on the left you get items on the barrels and you can grab the tome through the wall. Carrying on through the tunnel system, there's a large area where you don't get any item spawns. Check behind the pillar ahead, and then head right. Through the metal bars on the right. Carrying on to the end of the tunnel, there is a door that you can go through on your left. You can get items spawning in the back alley. Backing up just a little bit, turn right, and then drop down through the hole. I normally start by running to the back of the room, checking the spawns here, and then proceeding through, checking each pillar for keys and items. Going through the small tunnel ahead, you can get items on the left. And before we do a bit more parkour, check the other side of the room. To get the next Grim, we need to jump onto the dead body, onto the rock, onto the little ledge, and then finally across this last gap. Proceeding to the end of this corridor, you will find a chest. In the chest is the Grim. Once collected, drop down the hole on your right. Continue down the stairs. Once at the bottom, you can get items spawning near the pillars. Moving on to the third and final tome. You can get items on the table in front, and the tome is round the back. Continuing to the right through the gates, you can get items behind this building. Drop down to the left and move along the ledge. These heels are always here. Once you get to the bridge, there are no more triggers. This ammo is always here. Now for the final event. Footage in the background is from my most recent stream, playing on Cataclysm with Twitch. The event will start as soon as one person enters the circle. You'll see a red bar in the middle of the pool fill up as time progresses. If you leave the circle, then the progress bar will start to deplete. As the event progresses one by one, the sorcerers will explode. Once the sorcerer has exploded, the event bar will not deplete past that point. Do not be scared to move out of the circle if you need to. If you look at when the armor comes in on the end event, my job as Grail Knight is to delete armor. I will make sure that one side is clear of armor so that we have space to move if we need to. We are lucky to be playing with a very, very good Ironbreaker as well in this team. So as the event is reaching its climax and it's getting a bit hectic up top, they ult, pull everything on them, and then they jump out, giving us a lot more free space up top. 
That wraps up Convocation of Decay. As usual, if I've missed anything, or if there is something you would like me to expand on, then please drop it in the comments below. Links for Twitch and Discord will be in the description. And above all, keep slapping rats. Bisto out.